All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this 2K23 My Career. And as you can see, we completed the sweep on the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we are on to round two to face the Dallas Mavericks, who just came out of another classic. This is becoming a rivalry against the Clippers in a seven-game series, the four or five seed. Everyone else one and six. The seven-seeded Suns upset the two-seed Pelicans to move on. And over here on the East, it, all the underdogs, four or five seed, that's not really underdogs, all the underdogs won besides the Bulls, who I would consider underdogs against the Bucks. Uh, so the Heat swept the 76ers, which makes me so happy. Uh, the Cavaliers won in six, who is probably the scariest team, I think. I think so far the teams left that I'm terrified of are the Cavaliers, the Mavericks, who we have to face, and the Grizzlies. Those are the three teams I think that would give us the most trouble. Uh, the Bulls end up sweeping the Bucks, which is a huge surprise, and they just won... Game one of the second round against the Raptors, who just beat the Brooklyn Nets in seven games. Nets with Kyrie, Shep Owens, Kevin Durant, TJ Warren, and Nicholas Claxton lost to Pascal, Scotty Barnes, OG, Gary Trent, and Fred Van Vliet. So we got we got Garland and Mitchell versus Hero and Butler and Bam. We've got Lonzo Levine and DeMar versus Van Vliet, Pascal, and Scotty. Over here, we got Devin Booker. And Chris Paul going up against John Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr. Really exciting. I hope the Heat get out of it. I don't think they will. I think they're going to probably get swept or lose in five. But we're worried about this man right here. Luka Doncic, who has literally no help. If we can just stop Luka, easy. But I've got that challenge of guarding him. So that's not going to be fun. Uh, Josh Christopher has been playing amazing so far in that starting small four spot. So he's going to continue to stay there. But... Luka Doncic. I might mess with defensive settings if I can to try and stop him, but it's going to be a challenge. Anyways, let's get into it and hope that Luka Doncic doesn't make my life a uh, living hell. One thing I would not understand is how 2K has yet to add not only the city uniforms, but the Rockets don't have their alternate, their statement uniforms in the game, the black ones. Why are those not in my career, 2K? What reason? Anyways, game one, and I'm going to throw up a lot of Jabari Smith to start it off. Mavericks were 15-32 on the season. We were 56-26. and 26. Six game difference between the one and six seed. And that man Luka, oh, why did I sag off of him like that? I don't know. That man Luka has literally no help in his starting lineup. Uh, his two guard is Patrick Connington. So that doesn't help. And I'm hoping, why is Eric Gordon start? Bro, I literally, in the locker room, before I started this game, the starting lineup was the same as it was. Why did it change? I actually can't stand 2K, bro. Why did it change? There's no reason for it to change. Jalen Green, he's going to miss. Wow, crazy. We're going to get the ball back. But I, why? Like, why did they change my lineup? So stupid, bro. I hope, I hope Chris is not on this team next season. Because the fact that they keep starting him over Sengun, even though Sengun is a higher overall than him, but they keep starting Marquise Chris for some reason, is doesn't make sense to me. Bro, like, yeah, I'm expecting, like, anyone who defends me is not going to leave me alone. Like, they're going to smother me no matter where I am on the court from three. So I just need to be disciplined and not take any threes because there's no guarantee I'll make it. Even if they're released, look, why are you switching me? Why are you switching me? What was the reason there you switched me for, 2K? Explain to me. But even if the release is green, wow, I don't know what that was. Even if it looks green, it's still probably not going to go in. J Jalen Green, I thought you were about to miss. We have a three-point lead now. I'm currently running a 3-2 zone. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm hoping it works well. As Jalen Green has taken a terrible three-point shot, why would you take that? Usually I'm telling them to shoot it, but I did not tell them to shoot that. Why are we leaving Justin Jackson open for three? I got to be prepared for Luka to dominate me. He averaged 38 points. His points per game were higher than his PER. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. How how does Dory Finney-Smith steal that without even looking at the ball, 2K? Like, seriously, is this what we're doing? I, man, I can't stand this game. How do you steal the ball without even looking where it's going? How does he know I'm passing that? Great defense from Jabari. I was about to say, we need to get the rebound, though. But, like, there is no way he knew I was passing that ball. Jabari Smith comes at the screen. There is no... You do not have a mismatch, Marquise Chris. Man, I hate you. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I did indeed change my takeovers. It's now a slashing and playmaking takeover because the sharpshooting and shot creating. Wow. I oh my god, the sharpshooting and shot creating takeovers were absolutely useless. So this is actually useful. The playmaking and uh slashing. We better sign a center in free agency because we have no interior defense whatsoever. Zero interior defense. It's honestly disappointing. It's so sad. Uh, no, that's now two fouls on Dinwiddie. It's two on Dinwiddie, two on Luka. And they're still only down by three. I'm getting subbed out and I have yet to miss a shot so far in this game. Bench, please do your thing. And we're only up by one. Isn't that fantastic? Luka Doncic, and there is no way that one was going in, Luka. You are tripping. I have still yet to miss a shot. The only thing shot I've missed is a free throw because I missed time my release. And Luka, he, he actually kept up with me, which is kind of surprising. Jalen Green from downtown. Yep, he missed. Who would have knew? Oh, didn't we? He's wide open for three. What are we doing defensively, bro? There's no reason why they're making seven more threes than us. This team is ass on paper. They only have Luka. This cannot be happening. And then, yep, he's going to steal that. I knew it, bro. Oh, my God. I hate going up against players. Why? Jalen, why? What are we doing defensively, guys? What are you doing? There, this guy just fell. Bro, I swear to God, if I see Marquise Chris start another game, I'm simming to the end of the game. I, I, I refuse to sit through and play a game where Marquise Chris is my starting center. When he shouldn't even be. He's over here fouling three-point shooters. He can't grab a rebound with his 6'5 having ass. He can't play defense. He can't score. He is literally useless. He's actually useless. Why is a 73 overall even in the rotation, 2K? That is what I don't understand and will never understand. And how does Luka... I, I give up, bro. I give up. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I've got us all the way up to a 5-6 point lead. I can't do math. Can we somehow keep it? I've already got 28 points. I believe I'm still perfect from the field. I don't remember. There is no way that's going in, but it don't matter. I don't know why he didn't go back up with it. That, that would have been an easy layup for him. And, well, it don't matter because Sangoon can't play defense. 28 points. I'm not certain, but I'm very I'm confident that I think I'm still on perfect shooting. I believe. Garuba, I don't think you can shoot. So, that's awesome. If that was Jabari Smith, that would have been nice. But it don't matter. I'm going straight to the paint. I'm going straight to the paint. Back to a six-point game. 24 points in the paint. The rest at the free throw line. That's the only way I'm able to score. I Maybe I'll get the a lucky three here and there as Dinwiddie is going to get the and one because Jalen Green can't play defense. But for the most part, the only way I can score is in the paint. It's the only way I can score, and they subbed out Luka. Now can we please take advantage with him out of the game, please? They got his counterpart in. Now, nah, yeah, I'm going right by him, bro. This change in my takeover was the best thing I've ever done. Best thing I've ever done, switching it to a slashing takeover. Because now I can just blow by and dunk on anyone. Two-point game. I am indeed perfect from the field. 13 for 13. I just checked. And I just realized that Luka Doncic isn't even their leading scorer at the moment. It's Spencer Dinwiddie. Luka only has 12 and Dinwiddie has 15 off the bench. Other than that, no one else is doing anything for them. Obviously, I have 32 points. And my second leading scorer is Jabari Smith at 13. And he's been amazing in the playoffs. But Luka's not even leading them in scoring, and we're still struggling against them. That is terrible. That is awful. Jabari Smith and one. And at the blink of an eye, guess what? It's a tied game. Crazy how that happens, right? What? I still made that. I should have been fouled, and I still made that layup, and I continue to be perfect from the field. Only missing one free throw. Which is going to irk me all night. Un like, this is insane now. We're only up by two. And I had 34 points on perfect shooting. Perfect shooting. And we're only up by two. That is just sad. I'm gonna go. This is going to go down as one of the greatest playoff performances ever. And we're about to lose because of passes like that. We're going to lose because of passes like that. 
and we're going to ruin my perfect playoff performance. Wow, you thought our big man lineup was small before. We got now Garuba and Marquise Kristen together. There, there is gonna, there's no interior defense. It's gone. It's all gone. All of our interior defense is now just in, disappeared. Daniels just snapped it away with the lineup we're currently running. And then he fouls because obviously no one can block a shot on this team. Dinwiddie is leading them in scoring with 26 points. Luka's only got 22, by the way. We've held him to 22 so far in this game. While Dinwiddie has 26. Off the bench. Off the bench. He's not even starting. So that just shows how good our not only defense has been, but our bench defense has been oh, amazing. Because we are, we're playing players like David Nawaba now off the bench. Instead of players like Josh Christopher or actual good defenders. Because they 2K wants to continuously change my rotations and have lower overalls play over high overalls. Which doesn't make any sense. Like, look, look at that defense on Luka as he gets the offensive board and makes the layup over two centers. Oh my god, bro. They're like, do you... How? 2K, how do you explain that to be realistic? How do you explain that to be... Jalen Green, please, for the love of god. How do you manage to do that? How do you manage to miss it that poorly? Oh, right to the paint. Easy. How do you miss it that bad? And after a Jalen Green 3 that the CPU didn't make, I had to make it on my own. We now have a 12-point lead. First double-digit lead, I think, of the game for us as Jalen Green just got killed by Pat Connington. You heard me correctly. Pat Connington just blew right by Jalen Green. I thought that was going to be Luka's fifth steal, but Jalen Green brings it back to 12. And we're finally, he's got 13. We're finally actually holding them on defense to no points for once. And, I mean, look, look what happens. Luka's only got, like, 24 points. When Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie's not going to have 30 every game, all right? This is a special occasion, I hope. There's no way this man's going to be dropping 30 off the bench every game. So, if we can hold Luka in check... I will take it every day. That is going, that's going in, isn't it? Nope. But it doesn't matter. They're going to get the... Jabari, bro. Jabari, you're the only... You're the tallest guy on the court. Why are you going to cut to the perimeter again? We're going to win game one, 124... Well, I mean, 126 to 104. We win by 22 points, but don't let that score fool you. This was a close game for all three quarters. Here is the final box score. 59 points, three rebounds, 17 assists on three missed shots on the night. One missed free throw for Gerald Johnson. Jabari Smith Jr. continues his fantastic playoff run with 20 points, 7 rebounds, 1 missed shot. Jalen Green had 13, but it was all around 6 points. I mean, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. KJ Martin in 9 minutes had 12 points. He did not miss a shot. We were just not missing at all. Uh, for the Mavericks, Luka and Dinwiddie combined for 52 points, which they combined for not even as many points as I had. But the fact Dinwiddie had 26 off the bench, that, that better not happen again. Powell had 16 because we had Marquise Chris starting at center. Justin Jackson should never have 11 points in an NBA game. He was all, I'm pretty sure he was starting. He's averaging 11 points, which is very stupid. Uh, but yeah, we held Luka to 26. He was 1 for 6 from downtown. That's all I asked for. All I asked for is just to hold him. He's averaging 36 in the playoffs. He averaged 38 in the regular season. All we need to do is hold him to this, and we'll win every game. Look at that fourth quarter. 17 to 35. Look... So we had him two points in the first quarter. We tied the second quarter and two points in the third quarter. We had a four-point lead going into the fourth quarter. And we just dominated from there on. So hopefully we can keep that momentum going into game two. But that's going to be it for me. GG.